Hello guys, I am going to show you how to solve the first layer of a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to be using the white um side as preference to um the top and the yellow side as the bottom. Before you want to start solving a Rubik's Cube, you want to know the opposites of every color. Um... So you know blue's the opposite of red. I mean green. I'm so stupid. But still, um Green's opposite of blue. On I'm Okay. But still, I don't really know that because I only know how to solve the beginning right, and that's how how I'm gonna be teaching you. But I do know it to a small amount. Now there's two ways to do this that are both beginner ways. One's really easy for probably people who've never touched a cube before. So the top right here, Rubik's logo on the top, and you want to go to the yellow side, right? And so you know the top is white, so you want to take all the white pieces and put them on the top. But there's already a white piece here, so if I turn this here, it doesn't make any difference. It's just stupid. So you want to turn this layer one time this way or two times the other way or one time the other way and then you can put it on the top layer then there's another one here you can put that at the top and then if it's on the bottom right if it's already at that side you just want to rotate and then you can rotate the layer twice to get this little flower thing you know isn't that cute and then you just want to rotate see there's a white and a green you want to put the green to there and turn it twice so turn it twice turn it twice and turn it twice and then this is the same for both ways you just want to take the color match it up with this take the color of this is the edge piece by the way and you want to take the color and match it with this color so now it does have orange but it doesn't show it at the side and so you know it'll go right there to put it right there you move it out of the way you move that layer layered down and you rotate it back in okay out of the way and rotate that layer out and up. Then you find the red and red and blue so you know it's right here. So it's gonna go right there. Out of the way, down, put it in and up. So now this is facing down so there, there's no colors that match it because it's green right there and that's red and green and so what you want to do you want to find a piece with just a random piece and I guarantee you there's gonna be one because there can't be four white pieces right here if one of them at the bottom so you just want to find one right you want to rotate that layer down and then you can just w rotate it two times so it's right here so it was right here whenever I rotated it down right here it's right here right there I'm sorry and then you just want to rotate it twice so it's right there then you just rotate that layer back and now green and red on the bottom and green right here so you do your move take this is the same thing so you go down that's there rotate it twice and then yeah you'd want to rotate that layer up before you do that because I just wouldn't make any sense so you'd rotate it up move it to where it is it's gonna go right there rotate it down and in and that is how you solve the first layer on the easiest way now that does take longer to align here and then align there um but this other method is going to be a tiny bit
harder to do. So there's the green here. And you just want to find where that green goes. So it goes right here. Hey, it's already on the bottom. I can rotate that twice, like in the other way. Now the green's right there and the blue's right here. Instead of rotating these two rows to move it, you can rotate that one row until you find where the green's supposed to be. So green's matched up right here. It's, it's supposed to be right there. So you'd rotate it until you see the yellow right there. And then rotate it back twice and it'd be aligned. And the red right here, it's already on the bottom, so you just rotate it right there, like the first way. This is right here, so you just want to rotate it this way. It's disaligning everything. Rotate it that way, and there. Now that didn't that wasn't very hard. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Because I'm obviously the best at scrambling. There. Okay. There's two of them on the Okay. So right here. If it's right here. This happens sometimes. And it's a tiny bit hard to do. So you want to rotate it sideways. And you usually don't. If you already have like some pieces on um, and it's right here if you rotate it this way and up to go put it back in that's gonna take out the other piece so what you wanna do you wanna rotate it down not destroying any of those four corner piece, not corner edges whatever edges um and then you wanna rotate it to where it's supposed to be rotate it up and back if it's right here pretty much the same deal um... but you can you what you want to do you just want to rotate this layer up like the same thing up rotate that one back in now i know those aren't right because i didn't really <sighs> uh... try and fix them but you know there's a simple algorithm to, to fix that, you know, right. and they're all soft. No, maybe, yeah. No, mm -mm. no. But. Well, thank you for watching. Um, it has been a pleasure teaching you. Even though this video probably is gonna get eight views, it's gonna be fine. And then there's going to be a lot of hate comments that I don't know how to solve for Rubik's Cube. And, you know, those are going to be pretty accurate. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. That is uh, how you solve a Rubik's Cube 3x3 three three first layer. If you want me to teach you how to solve the rest, I don't advise it. But, you know, I need to make a video. Because why not? Um... <clears throat> um, yeah, you can just tell me in the comments. <clears throat> um, well, um, yeah, look, I made Christmas colors. No, I didn't. Well, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, goodbye.